Hello mathematicians, this is Mr. Oliver. Let's go ahead and get started on our next flip lesson, which is going to cover the interior and exterior angles of polygons in general. Our learning target is you, the learner, will find the number of degrees of a polygon with an number of sides. Okay, now I'm going to go over some obvious things here, but it kind of leads up to what I want to talk about. The interior angles of a triangle, of course, make a sum of 180 degrees. We've known that for a while now. Quadrilateral, which was from yesterday's lesson, we all know has four sides. It has two possible triangles made up inside of it. The sum of the angles is 360. Now, one thing that I did not go over in the previous lesson was, you know, drawing a diagonal in the shape. Now, if you look at this, if you look at the shape, a quadrilateral has two possible triangles in it. Don't pay any attention to the fact that the triangles are totally a different size. Pay attention to the fact that the angles of the triangles equal 180. If it's a quadrilateral, it's going to be 180 plus 180, which is 360. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pay close attention to how many sides it has, how many triangles can be possibly formed inside of it, and the sum of the angles of those triangles. It's going to be um, kind of important to also note that when I make these triangles, I'm not going to cross any lines. This would not be okay. Let's go ahead and move ahead to a pentagon, and let's look at how many possible triangles we can make inside of a pentagon without any overlapping. So what we're going to do is basically connect vertex to vertex and not try to cross over any line. So as you can see right now, we have three possible triangles in there. So since a triangle has 180 degrees, we're just going to do 180 plus 180 plus 180. Well, how many sides are there on a pentagon? Obviously, there are five. How many triangles were formed? Three. And the sum of the angles are going to be 540 degrees because that's 180 plus 180 plus 180. Pay attention to the fact that we had five sides and three triangles. When we had a quadrilateral, we, of course, had four sides and two triangles. Try to see if you notice a pattern here. Let's keep going. A hexagon. So if you look here, we got a total of four triangles inside there. So a hexagon has six sides. We formed four triangles inside of the shape, and the sum of the angles was 180 times 4, which is 720. An octagon, I count six triangles there, so let's go ahead to the next slide here. How many sides are an octagon? There's eight. How many triangles are formed? That's six. And the sum of the angles is 1,080, or the sum of the angles is increasing. And this time we had eight sides, six triangles. When we had a hexagon, we had six sides, four triangles. When we had a quadrilateral, we had four sides and two triangles. Do you see a pattern? Hopefully you do. This gets us to basically our conclusion question here, which is the number of triangles formed inside of a polygon is always going to be two less or two fewer than the number of sides that it has. If, for instance, it has 12 sides, you can count on there being 10 triangles inside of it. If it has seven sides, which I didn't show you, it's going to have five possible triangles inside of it. A heptagon would have five triangles. So right here is our formula. So go ahead and write this down in your notes. Now the formula is 180 times n minus 2, where n is the number of sides on that polygon. If the number of sides is 6, we're going to do 180 times 6 minus 2. If the number of sides is an octagon, we're going to do 180 times 8 minus 2. So let's go over some examples here. A decagon. 10 sides on a decagon. Let's go ahead and just plug it in this formula. Well, now what we have is 180 times 10 minus 2. Now 10 minus 2, we want to do that first before we multiply anything, because parentheses always come first, right mathematicians? And then you get 180 times 8. And then now it's just a matter of doing the arithmetic there, and you get 1,440 degrees. You kind of just have to follow a process here, guys, and, and you pretty much can get it. Okay, a heptagon. How many sides are there on a heptagon? A heptagon has seven total sides. So we're going to start out with the same formula, 180 times n minus 2. We're going to put in 7 for n, because that's how many sides a heptagon has. 7 minus 2 comes first because parentheses always come first, so that's 5. And now you just have 180 times 5. Now 180 times 5 is 900. A heptagon inside has 900 degrees inside of it. A triangle. Now, you know, obviously we know what the interior angles of a triangle are, but let's just kind of just do this just for fun, just to show you that a triangle has 180 degrees. So a triangle has three sides, so we're going to do 180 times 1. 
And what's 180 times 1? Obviously 180. In this slide, what I want to do is I want you to kind of take the formula you just learned, which was the uh, 180 times n minus 2 formula, and then let's turn it into division. We're going to divide by n. n in both cases is the number of sides. What I'm talking about here is that if this is a regular polygon, we want to know what this angle is. We just went over how to figure that out. 180 times, and this is a hexagon, so 6 minus 2 over 6. That's how you do it. So it's gonna, we're going to follow word of operations. 180 times 4 divided by 6. 180 times 4 is 720 divided by 6. And 720 divided by 6 is 120. So what we just found here was each individual angle. So that's 120 degrees. This angle is 120 degrees. All the angles are 120 degrees, every one of them. So if you multiply that by 6, 120 times 6, or add 126 times, it doesn't matter, you're going to get 720, which is the measure of the degrees of a hexagon. Okay, so this formula right here, this helped us find one angle. And this works only for regular hexagons, or I should say regular polygons. This does not work for just any polygon. It has to be a regular polygon because then we know all the sides are equal. Okay, now let's talk about the exterior angles, the outside angles. The exterior angles of a polygon always, always, always add up to 360 degrees, no matter what kind of shape it is. It could be a triangle, it could be a hexagon, a pentagon, an octagon, a decagon, an icosagon, and that's 20 sides, or a hectagon. But the exterior angles of a triangle always add up to 360 degrees, no matter what. Now, in this slide right here, what I have is a regular hexagon, and all the sides of it are extended to kind of um, show what the exterior angles look like. From a previous slide, we learned that the interior angles of a hexagon equal 120 degrees. All the angles were 120, 120, 120. So if we want to look at the exterior angle right next to it, then... All we have to do is just make sure it adds up to 180. They're supplementary. Of course, if the interior angle is 120, its outside exterior angle is going to be 60. And then if we kind of go all the way around the shape, that's 60, that's 60, and all the way around, it's just going to be 60. It's not going to change because it's regular, meaning all the sides and angles are the same. If you do 60 plus 60 plus 60, or 60 times 6, you get 360 no matter what. Right here we have a regular pentagon. Let's figure out what A is and then what we'll do is we'll figure out from there what X is. Okay, so the measure of an exterior angle of a regular polygon is going to be found by just following these steps. Number one, we're going to use the formula of 360 degrees divided by N, where N equals the number of sides. And since this is a pentagon, we're going to divide by five. The pentagon has five sides. So 360 divided by five is 72 degrees. So that tells us what angle A is. A is 72 degrees. So all the exterior angles are going to be 72 degrees. If we want to figure out what X is, X is supplementary to 72. It's a linear pair with it. And X plus 72 equals 180. We solve for X and we get 108. So there's kind of another way to find the interior angle of a regular pentagon. If you don't want to do that one formula, the one we started out this lesson, then you can just use this formula, 360 divided by number of sides, find the exterior angle, and then from there, you can find its interior angle. And again, I'm going to say this, I've said this a couple times already, these formulas only kind of apply to regular shapes. They're not always going to work with irregular shapes. Even though, I should, I should make a note, that irregular shapes, yes, they'll have exterior angles that are 360, but you can't count on each angle being, you know, the same of course, because all angles are different. Okay, right here, what we have are three exterior angles, but uh, we're missing one. X is not given, so we're going to set up a formula. So we're going to set up an equation. So our equation is going to be 149 plus 98 plus X equals 360, because we know that all the exterior angles of any shape is 360. This might be kind of confusing to you, because we just kind of talked about for a couple days here, that a triangle's interior, the inside angles, equal 360. But we're not talking about the inside angle, we're talking just about the exterior angles. The outside angles of a triangle, whether it's a triangle, a hexagon, octagon, nonagon, icosagon, a megagon, does not matter what it is, as long 
as its exterior angles, that it's always going to be 360. Okay, so what we're going to do next is collect like terms, so we get x plus 247 equals 360. And then number three, we just use inverse operations to help us solve this. And there you have it, x equals 113. So now if you want to go ahead and double check, 149 plus 113 plus 98 equals 360. And that pretty much does it. Okay, that concludes our lesson tonight. Make sure you guys go ahead and, and go over your notes. We went over a lot. We went over interior angles. We went over exterior angles. Make sure you know which is which. Have your notes clearly labeled. It can be easy to forget what formula goes with what. So make sure you have everything labeled. Interior angle formula and exterior angle formula. They are not the same, although they kind of serve a similar purpose but they're not the same. So make sure you have all that separate and labeled. Okay, everyone have a great night. See you tomorrow.